Hi everyone, welcome back to our new session of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about different aspects of the Python function, where we can use it, and how to define the function. And finally, by using an example, I will show you how to create or define function and call the function with the data. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing. bell icon for more updates let's begin with python function so first of all what is function and why it is used function and their rules so a function is a block of organized usable code that is used to perform a single related action functions provide better modularity for our application and high degree of code reusing you have already heard about the function uh, name in other programming language python also contain functions but the structure and defining format is bit different as compared to other language it's very much easy when we are using python function in our coding there are values built in function in python like print etc so in addition to this functions are a key way to define interfaces so programs can share their codes so let's see the rules how we can define and what all important component which we can keep in mind so that it will not throw an error so python function block starts with the keyword diff means the ef followed by the function name and their parentheses like round brackets so any input parameter is placed in these parentheses you can insert the name of your function or string value or any other value which is required the code block within every function starts with a colon and is indented the statement returns expression exit function optionally passing back an expression to the caller a return statement is finally with no arguments is seen as the return none so by this way we are using the rule of function so as you can see here in this example we have created one functions with starting with def means defining then the function name and finally we have ended with printing one function text so let me create in the example and show you how we can create it real life first of all we have to define def and then function name as we have used over there test then function and i am going to use here as a v name that is vegetable name we are going to print it here in our bracket provide the colon which is mentioned in my ppt now next we need to print the value so whichever we want to print it here so here we have provided v name that is vegetable name plus there references or you can add it any value which you want vegetable plus there required value just like sweet then we need to define their functions with data things dot working yes here we have to provide the value of the function so let me uh, i think it was disconnected let me create it here again so define test function then 
the name of vegetable we want to print it we name then finally we are providing here the colon then we have to enter the print value and the value which we have provided inside our function we name plus if i want to add any other value like this like i am keeping here as a like or you can change it to good the same value will be printed in our function so let me provide here my function data so we are defining here text function and the name which we are going to use it so just like here banana uh, brinjal keep the original name then again test function so once you will type you will get notified the contain which you want to provide it here let us see go and finally we are keeping here as a test function then the value which you want to enter here carrot so by this way you can add up as many numbers or data you want it let's run this and see the result so as you can see here we have received value which contains first name brinjal that is good let us finger that is good and carrot that is good so this is the value which we have provided to be end up so just like uh, we can add it here as a vegetable name stable we can keep it and run the command we'll get brinjal vegetable this is also vegetable and finally third is also a vegetable name so by this way we can define the function and call it by the name so there are several other component which is required to discuss on the function itself like uh in python every variable name is a references when you pass a variable to a function a new reference to the object is created parameter passing in python is seen as a reference passing in java so just like if we are defining any function with their name and want to call it with the data same way we can call it so let me create here one list and call that list data in my function so i am deleting all these things test f i am keeping this as a scene and the value i am going to provide here as a a or the variable name so here a inside the array it should pop up zero with 20 then if i want to select as a list so my list or declare the list equal to to 3 5 7 so but this way if we want to call this value up to 20 uh, 7 9 then 11 then 13 15 17 and 19 So this is the list created in this, and now if I want to call it by my function name test, 
test function with my list. then I want to print this as a my list as you can see here all the list values are uh, printed here so here we have declared the function and the list and I want to show that inside the function it means we are providing reference in that reference we can print it according to our requirement. So, by this way, we have used some functions. Let's discuss about the anonymous function and what is the uses. So, anonymous functions are called because they are not declared in the standard manner by using define keyword. So, just like if uh, we are using print, it is not at all defined. It is built-in function created in our system and we are using with the name keyword so by using the define keyword we can define any function but whatever is present inside the system we can use it we can use the lambda keyword to create small anonymous function so lambda forms can take n number of arguments but written just one value in the form of an expression. They cannot contain commands or multiple expressions. An anonymous function cannot be a direct call to print because lambda requires an expression. So lambda functions have their own local name species and cannot access variable other than those in their parameter list and those in the global namespace. So this is all about functions. Let's recap this. We have started with definition of function, we have discussed their declaration rule, then we have created one example and printed the vegetable value in our system. Then we have defined one list and inside the list we have provided the reference. By using that reference we have print that list. So by this way we can see that we have complete closely completed the contain and finally we have discussed about anonymous functions so this is all about function hope you enjoyed it enjoyed it if you really like this content consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching